Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lana Christine and today I am doing a tutorial on this wig. And I do not know if you guys seen my six ways to style a frontal, but if you haven't, it'll definitely be in the description below. But the wig that I had in that video is this exact same wig, but what I did was I remixed it like I always do I am very cheap you guys I did not want to go and buy another frontal in three other bundles so what I decided to do is cut that wig and make another one that wig was a little on the orangish reddish side so I decided to go a little bit deeper on the red and it actually looks very good um so if you do want to see how I recreated this wig and how I cut it and curled it and do all that keep watching and I'm back all right first things first I went ahead and put the wig on my head and uh, cut it where I wanted the hair to stop so I put it back on the mannequin head and now I'm about to cut it all the way through I'm gonna try my best to do it with some scissors I did not want to go to the store and buy some clippers because again I am very cheap so I'm gonna try and make it work I do want to say if you do have clippers, I would use those before I use scissors. It makes your life a whole lot easier um, and it's just better for this blunt cut. So now I'm just going to go back with the scissors just to make sure the hair is leveled out. I do not want a lopsided wig. So I'm just going to make sure the hair is leveled. And um, I'm going to take the hair like this and cut it like this so that the hair at the bottom won't be too precise. Okay, so this is the best that I could get it. I don't think it looks too bad. I think it looks pretty good for some scissors, okay? But again, if you do have some clippers, please use those first, okay? So I am taking my Adore Rinse in the colors Intense Red and Wild Cherry, and I'm just gonna mix those two together and um, separate my hair. And do not forget to put gloves on. You do not wanna stain your hands and put some newspaper down so you won't spill it on your beautiful furniture. Um, so now I'm just taking a brush and I'm just going to work the ends first and then work my way up with the rinse. Now when putting the rinse on the lace closure, just be very cautious. You do not want a red scalp, okay? So just take your time, you're not in a rush. Now I'm just going back to make sure every strand is covered and there is no more orange. Okay, I'm finally done with the coloring process. I went ahead and left this on for about an hour and then I washed, uh, conditioned and blow dried it all off camera, but I will let you guys know the products that I used. Um, so now I'm getting ready to style my hair. Um, I'm parting it. I want to put a braid down the middle and then I'm gonna just throw in some curls. So that's what you see me doing now. So now I'm going to go in with my Smooth and Shine Foaming Wrap Lotion. Sometimes frontals have a mind of its own, so you kind of need this to smooth out the front to make sure it's laying as flat as possible. And now I'm going to use a scarf to hold down the frontal while I do that one braid in the middle. I don't want the glue to come up.
So now I'm taking my handy dandy flat irons just to put some curls in it. I didn't really like the straight look. So let's see how this turns out. And I'm just going to run a wide tooth comb through the curls just to loosen them up a little bit because I didn't want them too tight. And voila, I am done. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Do not forget to subscribe and to check out any of my other videos that might interest you. And I will catch you guys in my next one.